All of us motorcyclists have definitely heard of a double D-ring. While some of us love it, some of us are still trying to figure out what to do with the rings and what to do with the strap. While this is the only helmet fastener that comes on the top tier of helmet. The double D-ring performs better than any other mechanism in DOT, EC, Snell and also the FIM safety requirements. It is the only mechanism approved for any form of racing. While helmets and all their composite strength are definitely the hero, when it comes to protecting riders, the double D-ring is the unsung hero which ensures the helmet doesn't come off the rider's head, ensuring the shell does its job. That's a good looking helmet. For people still wondering what to do with the rings and the strap, we'll do a small tutorial on how this works. These are your double D rings. This is your strap. The strap goes through both the double D rings. You push the first one ahead and take the strap through the second D ring. Adjust the strap as per the tightness you want to. Let me try and fasten my chin strap as fast as possible. In 3, 2, 1. How fast can you fasten your chin strap? Do let us know in the comment section. Here we go. Let's go back in time and find out more about this. The D-ring was first seen in the 13th century. Yes, in the 13th century on gladiator and soldier helmets. But its use wasn't limited to only helmets. The D-ring was a part of the standard issue equipment for soldiers. It was used to attach various items such as canteens ammunition pouches and other essential. Over time, this functional design was adopted by civilians for almost everyday things. Something as simple as a belt. D-ring could work with an array of materials such as canvas, nylon or leather which makes them more suitable for outdoor activities or other work environments. They are also popular with hikers, climbers and other outdoor enthusiasts as they can be easily adjusted. 